शांती दिस इज दी सकार मुरली ऑफ टेंथ ऑफ एप्रिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एसन्स स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन यू कम टू दी फादर टू बी रिफ्रेस्ड यू रिमेन डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम वर्ल्डली वाइब्रेशंस हियर एंड यू रिसीव द कंपनी ऑफ द ट्रथ क्वेश्चन विच एडवाइज डज बाबा कॉन्स्टेंटली गिव टू यू चिल्ड्रन फॉर योर प्रोग्रेस answer sweet children never gossip about worldly things among yourselves when someone comes to tell you anything listen but do not hear good children fulfill their service duty and remain engrossed in remembrance of baba however some children talk about and listen to useless wasteful matters with great happiness a lot of time is wasted in this and there is then no progress om shanti Even if double Om Shanti is said, that is right. The meaning has been explained to you, children. I am a peaceful soul. Since my religion is peace, I cannot find peace by wandering around in the forest. The father says I am peaceful. This is very easy. But because of the war with Maya, there is a little difficulty. You children know that no one apart from the unlimited father can give this knowledge. Only the one father is the ocean of knowledge bodily beings can never be called oceans of knowledge only the creator gives the knowledge of the beginning middle and end of creation you children are now receiving that even some very good special children forget this because remembrance of the father is like mercury students in a school would definitely be number wise there are always numbers given at school In the golden age you would never give a number this is a school and a vast intellect is needed to understand these things for half the cycle there is devotion and then after devotion the ocean of knowledge comes to give this knowledge those of the path of devotion can never give this knowledge because they are all bodily beings you wouldn't say that bhagwan baba performs devotion whom will he perform devotion to It is only the one father who doesn't have a body of his own. He does not worship anyone, but all human beings worship someone because they are creations. Only the one father is the creator. Whereas whatever else you see with your eyes, all the pictures etc, all of that is part of creation. All of these things are repeatedly forgotten. The father explains, without the father you cannot receive the unlimited inheritance. you receive the sovereignty of paradise there used to be their kingdom in bharat 5000 years ago the sun and moon dynasties continued for 2500 years only you children know that this is just a matter of yesterday no one apart from the father can tell you anything only that one father is the purifier it takes a lot of time to explain the father himself says only a handful out of multi millions will understand this cycle has been explained to you this knowledge is also for the whole world the ladder too is very good but even then some still have their own arrogance brackets when you explain to them papa has explained to you that you should explain to those who hire out halls for weddings and give them thrusty as you progress further everyone will like these things You children have to explain to others. Baba will not go to anyone. God speaks. Those who are worshippers cannot be called worthy of worship. Not a single person in the higher nays is pure. Establishment of the worthy of worship deity religion is carried out by those who are the highest on high worthy of worship. They are worthy of worship for half a cycle and worshippers for half a cycle. This Baba adopted many gurus. and he now understands that to adopt gurus belongs to the path of devotion he has now found the sadguru who makes him worthy of worship he doesn't make just one person this he makes all of you this all souls become worthy of worship sadu pradhan now they are tamo pradhan worshipers these points have to be understood baba says in the ayur nees there cannot be a single one who is pure or worthy of worship everyone takes birth through vice it is the kingdom of ravan 
even Lakshmi and Narayan take rebirth. But they are worthy of worship because Ravan doesn't exist there. People speak of these things but they don't know when the kingdom of Rama exists or when the kingdom of Ravan exists. Look how many Sabhas, brackets, political parties there are at this time. Such and such Sabha, such and such Sabha. When they receive something from someone, they leave one and go to the other. At this time, you are becoming those with divine intellects. In that too, some become 20% this, others become 50% this. The father has explained that a kingdom is being established. Souls who are still left up above are also coming down. In a circus, some are very good actors, brackets, performers, whereas others are ordinary. This is a matter of the unlimited. Everything is explained to you children so well. You children come here to be refreshed, not just to sit around idly. Some bring others who have such a stone intellects that they remain constantly in those worldly vibrations. You children are now gaining victory over Maya by following the father's Srimad. Maya repeatedly makes your intellects run in other directions. Here Baba pulls it. Baba would never say anything wrong. The father is the truth. You are sitting here in the company of the truth. All others are in the company of falsehood. It is a great mistake to call that a satsang, like its company of truth, spiritual gathering. You know that only the one father is the truth. People worship the true supreme soul, but they don't know whom they are worshipping. Therefore, that would be called blind faith. Look how many followers the Aga Khan has. Whenever he goes anywhere, he receives a lot of gifts. He is even weighed against diamonds. Generally, one would never be weighed against diamonds. In the golden age, jewels and diamonds are like stones for you and you continue to put these up on the buildings. Here, there is no one who would be given diamonds in donation. Some people have a lot of money and this is why they donate it. However, because that donation is made to those who are sinful souls, the one who gives the donation also accumulates that karma. They become sinful souls like Azamil. It is God, not a human being who is sitting here and explaining to you. This is why Baba has said your picture should always have written on them. God speaks, always write, Trimurti God Siva speaks. Even when you just say God, people become confused. God is incorporeal and this is why you definitely have to write Trimurti. There isn't just Siv Baba in that. There are three names, Brahma, Vishnu and Sankar. Salutations to deity Brahma and then they also call him Guru. They speak of Siva and Sankar as one. How would Sankar give you knowledge? There is also the story of immortality. All of you are Parvatis. The father gives all of you this knowledge while considering you to be souls. God alone gives you the fruit of your devotion. There is just Siv Baba, not even Iswar or Bhagwan, etc. The words Siv Baba are very sweet. The father himself says, sweet children, and so he is Baba, is he not? The father explains that souls are filled with sanskars. Souls are not immune to the effect of action. If a soul were immune, how would he become impure? He is definitely affected. Because this is why he becomes impure. He also becomes corrupt. Deities are elevated. Their praise is sung. You are full of all virtues, whereas we are degraded sinners. Therefore, you cannot call yourselves deities. The father now sits here and changes human beings into deities. There is this praise in the Granth by Guru Nanak. The six say, Sat Sri Akal, the one who is the immortal image is the true Sadguru. So you should only believe that one. They say one thing and do something else. They don't know the meaning of anything. The father who is the Sadguru, the immortal one, sits here and explains to you. You are number wise. Even though some of you are sitting personally in front, of, in front here, you don't understand anything. As soon as some of you leave here, 
everything is finished baba forbids you children to listen to worldly gossip some children very happily listen to and talk about such things they forget the elevated versions of the father in fact those who are good children would complete their service duty and then remain lost in their own intoxication baba has explained that sri krishna and the christians have a very good connection there is the kingdom of sri krishna their names become lakshmi and narayan later as soon as you say paradise you instantly remember sri krishna you don't even remember lakshmi and narayan because the little child is sri krishna little children are pure you have had visions of how a baby takes birth there the nurses are present there and they quickly pick up the baby and look after it the parts of childhood youth old days are different whatever happens is said to be in the drama there are no thoughts about it this drama is predestined my part is also being performed according to the drama plan there is the incarnation of maya and also the incarnation of the father some follow the directions of the father whereas others follow the directions of ravan what is ravan have you ever seen him you have just seen his pictures this is the form of se baba brackets point what is the form of ravan when the evil spirits of the five vices come they are called ravan this is the world of evil spirits the world of devils you souls know that you are now being reformed here even bodies are devilish you souls become pure as you gradually reform you will then save those bodies and receive satu pradhan bodies you will receive pure bodies that will be when the souls are pure when gold is pure the jewelry made from it is also pure they still put alloy into gold the knowledge of the beginning middle and end of the cycle continues to turn in the intellects of you children people don't know anything at all they say that even the rishis and munis went away saying neti neti brackets neither this nor that we say even if you were to ask lakshmi and narayan they too would say neti neti however this question can never be asked of them who would ask them only gurus are asked this question you can ask them this question you beat your head so much in order to explain to them your throats even get sore the father only speaks to his children who have understood him he would not sit and beat his head with others unnecessarily acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father pap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharana number 1 fulfill your service duty and remain lost in your own intoxication do not listen to or talk about wasteful matters only keep the elevated versions of the one father in your intellect do not forget him second in order to remain constantly happy let the knowledge of the creator and creation constantly turn in your intellect that is continue to churn this alone do not have any thoughts about anything else for this understand the drama very well and play your part blessing may you merge the consciousness of i and baba and become a constant and easy yogi the children who have love for the father in their every breath who only have baba baba in their every breath do not have to work hard to have yoga the proof of them having remembrance is that the word i never emerges from their lips only baba baba emerges the consciousness of i is merged in baba baba is the backbone baba inspired you baba is constantly with you to be with you to eat with you to walk and move around with you when this awareness has emerged in your form you will be said to be an easy yogi slogan say me me brackets mia means to invoke maya the cat and say baba baba and maya will run away slogan say me me 
brackets meow means to invoke maya the cat and say baba baba and maya will run away om shanti